I'm very excited to present the video on charts in our Beginner 2 series. Charts are a great way to visually represent the information that you have in your spreadsheet. There are two different ways to generate a chart after you've done your selection. You can hit the F11 key or you can choose from the insert ribbon charts. So here they are there. There's a couple of things to keep in mind when we generate charts, and I've got a few design tips here on the screen for you. Don't clutter. Your information should be focused enough that the viewer understands the chart in a few seconds, not minutes. If they have to tilt the page around, then uh, we've got it a little too cluttered. Use your charts to summarize and underscore key points. Use simple colors. Be consistent with your fonts and colors and use action statements instead of generic labels. And most importantly, keep your lettering big and bold. The first chart that we're going to do is a pie chart. A pie chart is a circle chart that represents a complete number divided into wedges. That's the percentage of the whole. So we like to use pie charts when we're showing as many of seven components. This is great for budget allocations and income and spending, but don't use them when it's impossible to see the different slices of, of the pie. Well, we're gonna to go to our spreadsheet and pull up our profit and loss statement for Happy Villas Apartments. And we're going to generate a pie chart that shows the percentage of rental income to other income. So we're going to come here and select cell C17. We're going to hold down our control key and choose C42. Then we're going to keeping, as we're holding down the control key, select the total of rental income, as well as select the total for total other income. So we have four selections on our screen. We're going to hit the F11 key and watch what happens. The default chart type in Microsoft Excel is the column, and that's why we've got it here. But it's very easy to change our chart to change our chart type. Don't say that too fast by clicking on the change chart type button and choosing pie and clicking OK. Now notice because we have a chart, we have a whole new tab and ribbon that has appeared. So we have the chart tools tab, which has presented us with two sub tabs, a design sub tab as well as a format sub tab. We've got two different colors in our pie chart because we have two different series. We have the total, in, I mean, we have rental income and we have other income. And we'd like to be able to see what the orange and the blue represent. Clicking on the design tab and coming to our first group, which is our chart layouts, we're going to choose quick layout. And the first one is my favorite because it shows what the label is as well as the value. So we can see that other income is 7% of our rental income. 